I feel that for a lot of you, um, there is also a big process about moving your stuff, like moving from one job to the next, moving from one place to the next. And it might be as a result of finding out possibly even, you know, there was communication within the work environment that wasn't too favorable. And as a result, you're just um, figuring out that maybe it's best for you to just move on, cut your losses and, you know, find a different work situation elsewhere where you're going to get a lot more respect and, you know, just, um, it's a better, which might be a better environment for you. So I'm going to use this card here. This is the one that flipped over first. Okay. So let's talk about your overall energy for April. First of all, um, when it comes to dealing with other people, the people in your external environment, you have a lot of court cards coming through. So this is pretty much a very, very people oriented type of month. OK, um, you have the Princess of Wands, which is some type of communication coming through. And I mentioned stumbling across something, some some news or at least getting messages, getting um, information, getting communication from another person. And this is pretty much something that is going to make or break a relationship. This is also, um, as well, I feel like because it's a wands energy, wands usually deals with projects, communication regarding work, regarding projects, and how it's going to affect your financial situation in the future as well. So I feel like there might be a job offer or at least a solicitation for a job and then getting some type of feedback from the other person, whether or not they want to employ you or they want you to come in for an interview. The job itself looks very, very favorable because we do have here the King of Pentacles. Whatever is being on offer is very solid and stable. And it's kind of like something that's a really good match for you. It's right up your alley. So concerning job, it is very favorable. Concerning news on the love front, there might be communication from a person, possibly a fire sign. And fire signs are Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. This is somebody that is significant in your life. I also feel that um, I'm actually short one card, but I'll, I'll take care of that later. I, I feel almost like this is somebody that is, um, if it's a fire sign that you're dealing with, I feel like it's somebody that is not, um, that you actually like a lot, but they're not looking for a commitment. And I do feel some news communication, whatever it is, is coming through from a fire sign that might, you're romantically linked with, or you're interested in. I feel that it's kind of like the deal breaker, whether or not you are going to forge ahead with this person, the news that they're bringing to you is going to solidify your plans of whether or not you're going to move forward. And this is not going to be the same for all of you, but I do feel if you're linked up with a fire sign, they might frankly just not be ready to commit. So you are going to have to change, you know, your outlook, your plans, whether or not you want more casual relationship or whether or not you can bring them into the future with you. There are some problems here when it comes to fidelity and honesty and, f and trust in a fire sign. Okay not bad people, but it's a very young energy. So they don't have the sustaining power that you're looking for. In terms of your emotional state, I do feel things are looking very, very good for you. So first of all, we have the King of Cups and the King of Cups indicates um, an this is a traditionally a water sign person. So Cancer, Pisces, um, Scorpio. This is somebody who is very, very much in control of his or her emotions. And this is somebody who is very strategic about expressing their emotions in order to, um, I guess, like appeal to another person. So for example, if they care about somebody, they're very generous with their feelings. They're very, very helpful. They can also be very much in control of their emotions. If the other person somehow is um, not committed and is kind of like keeping them at an arm's length, they likewise, um, it hurts, you know, but at the same time, they are mature enough 
to um, explain to the other person that, you know, if you're not ready, then I'm not going to over invest my time in you. So they, they know about boundaries and they understand that, you know, in relationships, it's all about give and take and that you have to hold back if your partner is holding back and then you have to give when your partner is ready to commit. So this is somebody who is very, very realistic and who is... Um, who has high expectations. They are capable of great love and great sacrifice as well. It's linked up with the wish card. So for a lot of you, for a lot of you, this might be somebody that you're romantically interested in and you feel that they have a lot of emotional depth and you do want to get to know them. This can be an acquaintance or it can be a romantic partner as well, but I do feel there is somebody in your life that's giving you a lot of love, a lot of emotional support, um, as a water sign, male or female, they're very um, in tune with their emotions. They are, provide very good guidance and they give very unbiased opinions and advice. So it is in your best interest to um, listen to what they have to say and they can give you very good insights into human character as well. So I do sense that um, for a lot of you, there might be situations that can rattle you emotionally and you are going to have to consult somebody to get a an impartial, loving, caring support or advice or a different perspective. And especially, I feel like for a lot of you, there might be a water sign in your midst that you are consulting in order to get, you know, some life advice, okay? Um, now, in terms of your own emotional state, there is some going back and forth pertaining to some new work situation or your finances. There is a little bit of an ebb and flow and also a little bit of a financial payout. I want you to be very careful when it comes to overindulging food, drink, um, especially when it comes to emotional spending because I feel that for Torian people, when you are a little bit depressed, you tend to blow through your money just to you know make yourself feel better. So be very mindful about curbing that um, tendency, all right? I also feel as well that your financial situation is greatly linked in with your emotional state. If you are in a job that pays really well, you would work yourself to the bone. So it's really important to do things in moderation and to try to scale back on the work that you do and don't try to distract yourself from, you know, um, emotional problems. If there have been emotional problems, don't try to, don't try to, I guess, bury yourself in work or bury yourself with, you know, uh, frivolous, extravagant spending. Okay. Address the issue as it is. If your financial situation takes a little bit of a dip, it tends to affect you emotionally as well. So that can be a negative feedback loop and it can also uh, spiral out of control if left unchecked. The only danger for this month is we do have Mercury in retrograde, which brings about a lot of buyer's remorse. And the Mercury in retrograde is going to start on the 28th, ending middle of, I believe, uh, May. So, you know, try to curb the emotional spending, okay? What I'm also sensing here is for a lot of you, I feel like there might have been some news, some information, communication that is emotionally rattling to you. And as a result of it, you feel a little bit emotionally destabilized. And I do sense as well on the work front, there might be news on the work front regarding your progress, regarding your performance. It's also like um, new job opportunities as well as potential here for immense like promotion, earning income, um, earning potential that is coming through. And if it's a promotion or a new job that you're waiting on, the cards are advising you to be patient, okay? It's not going to come in in the time frame that you hope for. There is going to be a little bit of a delay and it's not something that you did or it's not because of you. It is planetarily speaking, the Mercury in retrograde. And also somebody is kind of like doing all the fact checking behind the scenes. So for example, if you are have applied for a loan, if you have applied for a job, if you're waiting on a promotion, they're doing all their they're crossing the checklist. They're, you know, 
um, crossing their T's and dotting their I's. So it's, it's more of a logistical red tape type of issue that is holding this situation and not allowing it to move forward. So I do feel that you things will start to progress so it's out of your control so just be very patient about it but it looks to me to be very positive new work new promotion opportunities new financial windfall windfall or even like a loan coming through for you all right um <clears throat> i forgot one more card here so i'm going to get that out oh okay so in terms of the energies that is interacting with you we do have an opposing energy which is more of a combative energy okay so let's look at this situation we have here the seven of wands and the seven of wands is a card about valor this is standing up for the things that you believe in this is fighting for your truth fighting for your little spot in the sun and entering in this, into a situation where if you work hard you are going to start to see the results of your labor the fruits of your labor if you are are in a position where you have to defend yourself or you have to outshine your opponents you're going to be able to be victorious but it's just a matter of how we conduct ourselves I feel like for this month because you're an earth sign there's a lot of sword energies all along the um, the advice column so it's telling you to scale back on that fire energy on the passion on the impulse it is a very good month to think about long-term strategy to filter information through your mind so that means you know how do I think about this what do I want to happen and what can I do what is the best strategy for me to move forward those are important questions to ask rather than how do I feel how do um, you know how does this make me feel how do the how would the other person feel so think about you know thinking processes think about you know like on a strategic level how it's affecting you what you can do to to change things rather than filtering it through your heart which is going to bring up a lot of um, passion fiery energy um, good or bad but usually I feel like it's a very explosive energy so be careful about that one other thing I've noticed about Torian is um, it takes a lot a lot for you to get upset it takes a lot but when you're upset all hell breaks loose so just um, tone down on the energy I'm getting you know right off the bat we have fire we have a lot of fire and we have new opportunities as well but it's also with the temperance card it is telling you to be um, a little bit more patient about it and be a little bit more rational as well I, I feel like something some news that's coming in might get you fired up and I do feel that in a um, situation where you are going to have to make yourself stand out from the crowd, it would be best for you to play more of the diplomat to um, rather, so for example, if you're in a job interview, rather than, you know, um, itemizing and listing out all of your achievements because this is a card about achievements as well it's, it's one energies rather than doing going that route just say that you know just highlight the really important things that complement your skills and then just uh, work off of that so it's not a the time for you to you know list or itemize all your accomplishments it's about narrowing down on specific accomplishments you have in life and how that has contributed to the person that you are and how you can um, be an asset how that has helped you on a professional basis to be an asset to a company for example so the seven of wands is linked in with the king of wands for a lot of you, I feel there is some type of a conflict with a fire energy, okay, like a fire sign. And it came up with the Princess of Wands, and now it's coming up with the King of Wands. Um, there is some jealousy issues here, and it goes both ways. So first of all, first of all, if you're dealing with a fire sign, um, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, 
I'm almost sensing as if there's this constant back and forth, okay, and it goes both ways. I feel like this might be a long-standing type of interpersonal relationship where, you know, it's a different element. It's hard with the communication. I feel there's a lot of love. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of lust and jealousy as a result of it. And I do sense as well, you know, it's kind of like the, the thrill of the chase. First, somebody comes in, makes an offer. And then you think it's going to be solid. And then there's like, you know, uh, going out, overindulging, jealousy, having to answer to the fire sign, you know, about your whereabouts, about who you're interacting with, about communication coming back between you and somebody else potentially outside of the relationship, either from your end or from their end. There's some combative energy here. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with communication outside of the relationship coming to light somebody feels as if they have been rejected or slighted or somebody felt as if they might have been deceived kept in the dark or lied to so ruffled feathers i feel is coming through for those of you who are kind of dealing with this situation specifically I do feel this is the month in which it is going to make or break a relationship. So for example, I feel like there's you, there's a fire sign, and there's a water sign involved in this uh, dynamic, okay? So if it's a love triangle, there's you, there is fire sign and an, a water sign, and water signs are um, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. So what I feel is happening here is that like I said, this is the month in which I, you have two kings here and kings are very strategic. So I feel like there might be, you might be caught in the middle and you don't know who to choose. You have a very strong um, physical attraction and passion with one sign and you have a very strong emotional tie, a connection with another sign. So, you know, as the practical sign that you are, you are trying to like itemize and figure out if what is worth building upon for a lot of you i feel that you want to go with the water sign i do feel that you want to make more of a commitment to the water sign because you feel like there is safety and there's also stability and long-term achievements that can be had in that type of a union okay Likewise, um, I feel like if you're deciding between two employers as well, I feel an element of, you know, you kind of caught in the middle and the cards are advising not to make any type of a decision until, you know, after the Mercury retrograde period. But obviously, uh, life doesn't work, you know, w with time constraints like that. So if you must make a choice, go with the choice that your heart wants that's good advice overall, but I feel like that's something that um, is suggested here. So if you, for example, I feel if you are debating between two jobs, one of them allows you to be, to be close to your family and the other um, job allows you to move far away and have a very, very exciting, you know, new adventure. Um, a lot of you might be inclined to go with the old, which is, you know, stay where your family is. So these are things that you have to re-examine within yourself because adventure is calling and there's no point in, you know, denying that adventure out of fear or out of, you know, security or wanting to be close to family just for a sense of security. If you want to be close to them for other reasons, that's fine. But if you do it because it's out of fear, or or anything like that i do feel that you are potentially turning down a very good opportunity that can be very lucrative for you that can be a major growth experience for you as well okay now in terms of your advice we have here the five of swords the two of swords and the eight of swords all of these are sword energies so for those of you who are dealing with air signs in general if you are dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, I feel that somebody is being kept in the dark regarding somebody's actions, whereabouts, communication outside or inside the relationship. Somebody is being kept in the dark. It can be you or the other person, but all of these are sword energy, which is telling me that, you know, 
um, this is the month if you've had something that recently surfaced and you're kind of emotionally destabilized and you don't know which direction to move forward it's basically you're at an impasse with another person and it's frustrating to be in this place but this is also a place of stability with the moon the luminary on top on the right corner what I'm sensing is for you to really, really sit still, listen to your inner guidance. Um, sometimes who, whatever God that you believe in or whoever that you, you know, pray to, it is important for you to sit still and process whatever that has happened and try to get inner guidance. And one of the things um, that people have asked me about, you know, how do I know it's just, you know, my, my, my head coming up with the solution? How do I know it's that versus how do I know it's indeed like our greater, my spirit guides giving me the answers or inner guidance. And the thing is that when you come across inner guidance that is put in your mind or that is whispered to you by your spirit guide, you are going to start to feel this overwhelming sense of calmness, okay? So I feel like it's a very emotionally um, destabilizing type of month where a lot of information is coming to light, a lot of communication is coming through. It's ruffling your feathers and you feel a little bit frazzled. So when you're in that state, you are going to make bad decisions. So just be very careful about not acting on impulses, not acting out of anger, frustration, fear, or any other negative feelings that um, might not be in your best interest. So the thing here is to sit and wait for that inner guidance to click in. In your frazzled state, as soon as that inner guidance comes through and you think you found like a very good solution to a problem, you're going to feel this overwhelming um, peace wash over you. And what that is, is that that's the answer you've been looking for. And that's the answer for you to move forward with. Okay. What I feel as well is, um, the cards are advising overall in general, there is somebody benefiting at somebody else's expense and you know, it's not fair. So whatever this situation is, it is going to be revealed if it's not you and it's somebody that you're dealing with. I do feel that there is divine intervention coming through where this person will get their due justice. So it's not up to us as mortals to interfere with the grand scheme of things, of the universe, auto-correcting of, you know, the balancing act, the, the scale of karma being restored. So I know it's aggravating if you're seeing this from an another person. I do feel for a lot of you, you are overlooking it, or at least, you know, you're just like, you see it happening, but you can't do anything about it. And for a lot of you, it might be on the work environment where somebody's doing things they're not supposed to. And it might cause you to, you know, look elsewhere for work because you don't want to be caught um, either revealing their actions to your supervisors or, you know, being a part of it. So if there is, if there are misdeeds coming in from other people, just know that, you know, they will get theirs. It's not our place to interfere. So, you know, take care of yourself as best you can, okay? There's also a lack of information coming through. So basically what it's telling me here is that listen to, wait for that um, higher wisdom to come through, to wash over you so that you can be in a position to act, okay? At the same time, it's basically telling me as well, sometimes... Our gut instinct tells us something is wrong. We don't have all the information yet, and we feel as if we don't, we can't act. But the whole idea about feeling trapped, feeling as if we don't have a lot of information, it's a it's a facade. To it's also sometimes used an ex, as an excuse for us to be inactive, to be inert, and to not take any actions. So the advice here is that you're not as stuck as you think. You actually have all the information. The other person's actions are not excusable. That alone should be impetus for you to move past it and not waste any more time, energy trying to dig into it. 
Okay. So, um, Taurus, I, I do wish you the best for this month and try your best to stay center and to stay focused. Okay. There's a lot of blessings on the financial front, a little bit of conflict coming through, but also a lot of support coming through from people that have your best interests at heart. Okay. I feel like try to curb the jealousy situation. If that's coming from you, if it's coming from a partner, just know that they're operating from a place of love and you know they might not have constant communication with you so they are feeling a little bit uh, neglected and jealous as well okay so let me just see i'm going to shuffle it one more time what's going in store for you for love for april 2016 I believe there was another sign that got these two same cards in the same exact position. I feel like it might be Scorpio. Um, I, I can't remember clearly, but I feel like it might be Scorpio. With the Magician and the World card in the same exact position, you also have the Eight of, uh, of Swords, once again, which denotes to me that it might come from a relationship realm. They're giving you an extra card. This is great. Okay, so let's talk about this situation here. Um, first of all, let's talk about you singles. Singles, you are going to be attracting very, very positive people into your life, okay? Uh, first of all, as a single person, you are... So this is like for those who are single, who are dating, who are not in what you would normally call a committed, monogamous, um, you know, stable, serious relationship. So you have a lot to offer. You're showing up as the king of pentacles. This is somebody who is very, very financially well off, who is financially stable. They do want somebody to share their life with and share their wealth with. But at the same time, they don't have, you know, expectations of their partner. They do want somebody who meets their standard. But they're not, um, they are so comfortable and financially stable in their own selves and just stable in life in general that they do want high standards. They want somebody that they can put on a pedestal and they are almost like looking for perfection. You don't want another person to take care of you, but you do want somebody who is going to be your equal match, okay? What is coming through, though, I feel for a lot of you singles and, you know, dating and trying to find the right one, you are encountering energies that are resembling the uh, two of wands. So this is, once again, fire energies. Um, if you are dealing with a fire sign, so this is Sagittarius Leo Aries because of the wand suit, the relationship with them, you, I feel like you're making an offer to them. But I feel that they're not ready. I feel like they, they want more of a sexual, a, a short-term fling type of an interaction. There is really strong attraction. I feel like it's almost like um, there's really strong attraction with this card. Especially if you look at the card. She's like, you know kind of disrobing but it, it's there's very very strong attraction coming through from the people that you're interacting with and I feel that you want something more solid you're offering the pentacles but they want the world so there is somebody in your life potentially that you're really really enamored with but the relationship getting it to be stable is very difficult and I feel like it might be a fire sign that you really much really just want to be with but it, it's difficult to get it off the ground okay for those of you who are in stable relationship I feel that one partner might want to travel and the other person might want to stay put. I feel there might be an element of long distance, um, different culture, different ethnicities, um, interracial type of dating, um, non-traditional type of dating relationships as well, where 
one person might be a little bit hesitant about committing. And I feel it might be the fire sign that's a little bit hesitant about committing. I feel like Taurus, you've been through a lot when it comes to dating people and you have, um, you have very stringent, you know, expectations for your romantic partner. And I do feel as well, you have somebody who is very exciting to be with, who has, you know, you have great chemistry with, but getting that relationship together is very difficult because of these innate differences between you and them. But although the, the whole time I'm seeing a lot of passion, I'm seeing a lot of lust, passion, um, excitement, brewing up with this person okay especially for those of you who are dating women especially if you are dating women I do feel a um, a little bit of a wondering eye with you actually not a little bit um, a major 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 wondering eye with with Torians who are dating women so First of all, we have here three cards, Major Arcana, Temperance, the World, and the Magician. You are dealing with very, very high status, high impact, and, you know, um, people that have, like, people that have, like, a, a very strong public image, okay? You yourself have a very good public image if you're dating women. You have, like, you, you, you've got the... I feel like this is like the CEO, this is the boss, this is somebody who's very financially well off, okay? And the the quality of the women that you're looking for is somebody like you. So you have like very, very independent, charismatic, really high power women. They're in powerful positions, they're self-sufficient, they make their own money, and they're world travelers. And I feel like for, for you dating um, women, you are dating s multiple women. And I feel that there is temptation here if you are in a relationship and you travel a lot and you're in a position of power. Be very, very careful about curbing your appetite when it comes to, you know, lust, temptation, um, I feel like there are all these women that are posing as temptations for you. They might want to have a physical relationship with you without strings attached. Your partner might be kept in the dark. So be very, very mindful about actions and consequences, okay? Mercury in retrograde is a really, really karmic time period for secrets and things just like leaking out leaking out so just be very careful about that and mercury in retrograde is going to start on the 28th and the shadow period starts around the 15th 18th or so of this month be very careful about secrets coming to light and all of these things kind of just spilling out because it can be very very hurtful to the other person so just keep that in mind i feel like for especially taurian women if you are out and about in dating, I do feel especially um, you're going to be in a very good position. You're going to be the temptress, okay? Um, you are going to attract, I feel, I'm, I'm getting this and it's, it's strange. I feel like people of different ethnicities, people who are world travelers, people who are not in one place, uh, for a fixed period of time. So you might be traveling, meeting somebody in passing and, you know, having great chemistry with them. You are also meeting a lot of people who are world travelers, who have darker complexion, you know, like that whole, um, the whole, you know, tall, dark and handsome. But I, I feel like it's just, there's something exotic about them. They're out of the ordinary. I feel like Southern hemisphere type of energies, um, I feel that with, um, I, I feel like they're, they're just, uh, very exotic and I, I feel, um, just, you know, really attractive people, but they're very independent as well. So they might not be in one place for too long. Um, there is potential to have a very significant relationship for those of you who are single and dating or looking there will be potential for you to have to to be in the midst of somebody that not only are you going to have great chemistry with but i feel that you know you're going to be in awe at what they have to say and the things that they they 
they bring with them and all of their life accomplishments. Likewise, I feel that you are going to be looked upon very well, especially men or women, uh, Torian men or women who are watching this. You are going to be like the master of your destiny. The ma you're, you're going to be seen as somebody who is in control, who is very resourceful and who is very, very uh, capable, competent and um, charismatic as well. Um, the thing about dating is do things in moderation, quality over quantity, because I feel like, you know, a lot of the times we are like swept off our feet when it comes to people of um, outside of our normal type as well. And when we have like people that are coming through through who are very different from what we're used to we tend to be starry-eyed and we tend to be taken away and swept off our feet so I feel like the people that you're interacting with they might have a significant other as well so make sure you find out all the details before you get involved and just make sure you take it slow this card also indicates to me that um Especially if you're single, it's, it's kind of like, you know, falling in love with the idea of being in love, wanting that, um, wanting that ideal person where you are not approaching the person in a realistic manner and you're attributing, um, you're attributing like idealistic qualities that they might not possess mainly because you do want the the idea of the Mr. or Mrs. Right. So be very mindful about idealizing the people that you're meeting and not seeing them for the person that they are. I feel a lot of a, a starry eyed type of energy about this month where you have to look past the veneer and look at the person in truth. I feel like somebody is wrap it has somebody else kind of wrapping wrapped around their fingers like um playing i i don't feel like there are games cat and mouse things but i feel like somebody is very very impressionable and starry-eyed and the other person is playing on that so it's not overly you know just just be careful about the interaction but i feel like for especially single people you're going to meet somebody that is going to really rock your world is what i'm, I'm sensing here because they're very different and they're very accomplished and they're just really intelligent. For those of you who are in coupled relationships, I do feel there might be a situation where you are planning a, a major trip with your significant other and there will be many, many options for you to take. I feel like one person is doing all the planning and the other person is more taking more of a passive approach. And then there are issues when it comes to, you know, uh, will our holidays or our days off match up so that we can bring this um, this trip into reality? So I do sense it's a little bit of a difficulty coordinating with one another. I also feel one person could be potentially traveling a lot for work and there is that sense of missing another person. So both of these things indicate to me this is a card about longing, desire, missing somebody, wanting to be in another place in another time and possibly you know with another person. So I do feel that coming through. For those of you who are in uh, coupled relationships, I feel something some relationship is being taken to the next level possibly a proposal possibly some long-term planning when it comes to nuptials unions and things like that so overall it is looking very very positive for those of you who are single and who are in already stable relationships okay I'm not going to talk about shaky relationships because all of that has been flushed out pretty much with the um, previous part of the reading where I feel like it's, um, you know, it, there's a love triangle for sure. But for those of you who are single and dating, I feel that it's, it's a really nice, good energy for you to meet other people.